DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy-to-manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. DJ Event Planner will change the way you manage and run your business. Streamline all of your procedures and software into one easy-to-manage system. DJ Event Planner, the ultimate online planning tool. Tonight's DJ and TV show is sponsored in part by Electro Voice. DJ Event Planner, ADJ, NLFX Professional, Promo Only, Newmark, and DJ and TV Insiders. Welcome, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in. It is officially summer. I don't care that the, the calendar says it's not June 21st. I don't, I don't care. I'm thre threading for summer. Shaney said we had to come dressed, and then she let the pool noodle outside. So outside um, we, we've got a problem. That's all right. That's all right. I guess I guess I'll be the, the, the festive one here tonight. Um, although I know some of you in the chat room are, are wearing your tank tops and your, your board shorts. And uh, your your sandals, and that's it. And, and you're you're ready, but uh, you're right there with me. I probably will not be able to do this for long because my eyes are really freaking out from these sunglasses. Okay. So anyway, uh, tonight we are talking about summer, though. We are talking about music, and of course, everybody wants to know. So here's the one deal that we have to kind of like disclaimer it, I guess, if we will, is the fact that this is YouTube, and we want you to be able to check this out. We're not going to be able to play the clips of the songs for you. So if this is a song that you just go, hmm, haven't heard that one before, or I want to check, write it down. Write it down, type it, you know, take a picture, whatever. All right. Check it out afterwards. Don't don't tune us out. You know you're gonna do that. No, don't do that. All right. Write it down so that way after the show you can check these out for yourself and you can go, oh, I got that song. I need that song. I'm definitely getting that song right now. And that's exactly how we're gonna do. Um, and this is a little different tonight because it's not five. All right, we're not doing five on it. Um, Shady's gonna like blow our minds with all the great music that she's coming to us. So because of that, I'm gonna shut up and hand it over to I did ask for five, though. So we kind of uh, do have five. Multiples so I, of five. Multiple. We do have multiples of five. Square roots of five. I don't. I don't. No. I don't know. No. I'm, I was trying to do the teacher. That's thing like right just don't 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 answer C. C. The answer is C. Despacito. Two more days. No. Okay, so basically what I did, if anybody is not my Facebook friend or did not see my Facebook post, um, what I basically did was I reached out to a bunch of my personal colleagues um, that are mixed radio show DJs. And my mixed radio show DJs, I don't mean just the ones that like push the buttons on the radio and, and programming and everything. These are the actual ones that were hired for the weekends that do those crazy mixes when you're you're driving home late at night that are those incredible mixes or the lunchtime mixes um also the radio satellite mixes the serious mixes those 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 djs so those are like the legit mix show djs i reached out to those guys i reached out to my club djs i reached out to my international djs i reached out to 
all of those of my friends who are in the loop that need to know like ASAP what the hot songs are all the time because they have to create those mixes way before the hot songs are out because those mixes have to be submitted <laughs> before the hot songs are out. So when those songs are out, we're already listening to them that weekend when we're coming home and listening on, on the, you know, the noon, the noon lunch hour and things like that. And they were nice enough in their crazy schedule when I gave them, this is the deadline I need to have these songs by. Thank you to send me. And basically I said, I need your five songs that you think any genre that are going to be summer blow up songs that we're going to hear on the radio that people are going to request at parties, that these are going to be songs when you're walking through the lobby of a hotel that you're going to hear, you know, walking through that you're going to hear all the time. So I definitely do have songs that are going to be a top 40 song that are going to be a hip hop song. They're going to be uh, for those house DJs that spin house music um, for those Latin DJs. I have all types of music for you guys. So I didn't just stick it to one genre for people. I wanted to make sure I did it for all types of DJs out there. So definitely you're going to hear repeats. I didn't just put them in order. I want you guys to be versatile and be like, Oh wow. So Six DJs definitely pick this one song. Okay. And then maybe I really do need to really listen to this one song. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and maybe you guys know some of these DJs. I am going to name drop their names because they were nice enough to, you know, go ahead and do this. Um, if you guys want to find them on social media, I'm sure they would love for you guys to follow them back on any of their social media. Of course, I'm going to be um, biased and I'm going to start with my personal DJ who does like my parties and is an incredible DJ and he was a Kiss FM DJ and an international DJ and everything. That's my DJ Maurice Halstead. Um, his top five um, are an uh, move to Miami, which I think is going to be a great hit. That is in um, a Pitbull and Enrique song that I think is going to be a great hit. It's called move to Miami. Um, he also gave me a song called flame which is David Guetta, which is going to be more of like a house track for you guys. Um, the next song that he gave me are more of like um, hip hop and, and house tracks, which is Guatemala by Swali. And the next one is Ching Ching. And that's by Wolfgang Gardner. That's a house track. And his last one is Like That, Chris Wo. So again, move to Miami. Flame, Guatemala, Ching Ching, and Like That. So those are his five that he said going to be in his summer mixes. He's already putting those in his, um, he does spin cycle on internet radio and he does those and those are already in his, in his sets that he already put it. So he already does those. Um, next person, a lot of you guys know, his name is MJ. I oh, yeah. hold, on to, hold on to MJ. He's going to pump bump in towards the end of it. So can, oh, you, can, so you, can you move him? So we're not I'm saving the best it. for last. We're just going to yeah, push that. I was like, end. I'm not saving the best for last. Okay. So I'm not going to do MJ. Yeah. Um, okay. Then I'm going to do. Um, he, he had some country songs he wanted to come in and share. Oh, okay. Well, then I'll wait. I'll wait for. <laughs> I'll wait for MJ. All right. The next DJ is a DJ that actually does a lot of. Um, a lot of proms and everything and does a lot of school dance like the big when i say proms like i don't know if anyone went to mobile beat but um like if you guys went to mobile beat and went to like the boom school um seminar does like those type of stuff he's a really good friend of mine dj freestyle does those type of events and things like that so he really needs to know what those type of school parties what's going on with those type of kids and everything um his top five are Walk It, Talk It, Migos, which is um, hip hop, but I definitely agree with him on that one. Nice For What, Drake, agree with that one. Friends, which is the marshmallow one. That's a new one, which I actually just played this weekend too, um, which is kind of like a sing-along song too for the girls. I think, Dan, is that like kind of like a sing-along? Yeah. You say, yeah. yeah, I definitely agree with that one. Very, like, re very repetitive. Yeah, I think like the girls will like that one for a sing along. Um, meant to be, 
which kind of has like a uh, dance. I say that one kind of has like a dance remix, the song meant to be. And his last one is all night, which it's, that's a hip hop one, but I see that one going top 40. In my, all night by who? All night. That one is a uh, big boy. Oh um, yeah. I, Outcast. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I see that one. I think that one's going to cross over and do a top 40. Cause it kind of, it kind of has that sing along, um, happy feel to it. Not happy, the song happy, but like happy, that, feeling that good, vibe, good vibe. Yeah, that happy he, vibe. He always seemed to have, oh no, I, never mind. Yeah, go ahead. So again, his our walk it, talk it, nice for what, meant to be, friends, and all night. Those are his top five. And for those that didn't know, for some reason, the meant to be Florida Georgia Line and BB Rex. BB Rex, yes, yeah. yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah. And his he did his more towards like the kids, mm-hmm. like you know, like the older older kids type. Like that's what kind of makes them happy, and everything. Um, next group, um, I'm gonna give a shout out to my boys at SCE. Um, if you don't know, those are Jason Janai's guys, um, Jeff and and Bird and those guys. Of um, they actually found some time in their crazy busy schedule. I think they actually did this like in between events or setup, or I don't know when they texted me and I love them for it. Cause they actually sent me like, like a list and I was like, Oh my wow. God, I thank you. I don't know when you guys did this, but thank you. Cause I was at the club when they did it. And I was like, I love you guys. So they did it like as a group. <laughs> They're like, we're actually all together. We saw your taxes individually, but we actually are together. So we're just going to do it as a group. And I was like, it doesn't matter. So Very thank cool. you for doing it. I appreciate it. Um, so they are one kiss, which is um, a Calvin Harris, which I'm hearing crazy now. So I'm hearing that song um, like crazy. Um, Move to Miami, which... I already said mm-hmm. that one already. The song Fun by Cascade, which is a good, it's a good house track. And again, that's kind of like a happy feel. And again, not happy, the song by Pharrell, but more of like a, a happy beat kind of thing. And um, the middle, Zed. And then they brought up a very good point to me, which for their fifth one, which was was a very good point. And instead of giving me a song for their fifth one, they brought this up to me and said, since the movie about Queen is going to be coming out in October and they've been hyping it up in the previews already, yes, at the movie theaters and it's been hyping it up in the previews and everything, we might be getting a lot of requests now for songs for Queen, which actually happened to me this past weekend. Mm. So there might be some DJ remixes coming out with some some of that or just people wanting just the original songs of queen and the kids might be wanting that too because of their parents are of of that age as well so you might be getting that the summer of some songs of just queen because of that movie is just getting so hyped up so from them one kiss move to miami fun the middle and maybe some queen songs so that that is my boys at sce and their and their their top five very very cool you got the whole team there to work on that i had that (laughs) and it was like and they said they're like and this is from and they and i was like they're like we're here together and i was like i was like well thank you i'm so glad you guys got my individual texts and you guys sent me it together (laughs) that's really Really I impressive. Was like, Thank you. It was the team meeting afterwards. And we were I know. All hanging I was out, like, at least, yeah. oh, and then I was like, oh my God, I hope I did text like everybody that was there together. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope there wasn't like one person I didn't text. You left Jason <laughs> off. Yeah, I was going to say, Jason know. looking at his one like, Jason's right. like, wait, did she text me? Oh, oh, texting? Who, who did? Who got <laughs> Jason's like, did Shaney text me? <laughs> 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 Which I actually didn't text Jason and I didn't text him because I was like, I'm not going to text Jason. He's, he's probably like the busiest out of all of them. And he was probably like, great. Thanks, Shaney. Me. Thanks for not texting me. Yeah. He texted everybody, everybody else in my company but me. So, Jason, if you're watching this, I'm sorry I didn't text you, but I thought you were going to be the busiest one out of everybody. And so, so now he'll just do a rant about me on his, like, uh, you know, on Facebook or something. <laughs> who, who let this guy in again? I don't know. How did he get, like, the link? This is like, this is, 
It's Monday night. You don't belong here anymore. Stick to your Wednesday night show. <laughs> How do you get our link? I'm quitting the Wednesday night show. No. <laughs> what, do you want to come back again? It's, it's right? MJ, Wonder Twin Powers activates. <laughs> Form of. Glow night. Glow night. Shape of. Oh. A DJ. Wow, we just aged ourselves with that one. <clears throat> I, no clue. But All right, I was sorry. about to, I was, I was going to like see you and then they're like no wait because he wants to give his five top country songs later and i'm like oh okay hey i'm just along for the ride so just ignore. no well i didn't i didn't do i didn't do your songs and i didn't know you were jumping in but i didn't do your songs because i was going to but i did not okay all right the next person is a good friend of mine who's also a bose um um, I had to bring, you know, one of my Bose guys in is one of my, um, one of my Bose guys, his name is Josh and he, um, he is a house DJ and he, um, so he gave so for any of the house DJs out there, he gave me some awesome house tracks, which also can work if anybody does some like cool background music. Um, some of these house tracks are really good for some background. And then he gave me like, I think he gave me like one, one, um, hip hop too. So, but he did one kiss as well. So that's another repeat for you guys. So one kiss. And then he gave me the song 17 by MK, not MJ, but MK, um, not to confuse anybody. And then the song Cola um, by Camel Fat, which has a lot of remixes. And I actually have two remix of Cola and that is a really cool song. So if anybody wants to find like a very cool, um, even like transition, if you just need like a cool cocktail type song, cola is like a. It's like can a you cool can vibe. you spell that? Because I know cola I'm feeling is just cola is like what you drink. C-O-L-A. Okay, I just want to make sure that the yeah. way that's okay. Yeah. Okay. Cola is C O L A, and that's like a cool tropical house um they got some like cool like if people are into like a tropical house vibe that's a really cool one and there's some been um some current recent ones of cola um freaky friday was that's a hip-hop one that's um that's one of the other ones gave and then show me by ryan blythe b-l-y-t-h the uh, song show me so that was that's another house one so he gave me kiss which is another repeat calvin harris um 17 the number 17, don't spell out 17, but the number 17, MK, the um, the initials MK, Cola, like the drink, C-O-L-A, um, Freaky Friday, and then Show Me, Ryan Blythe, B-L-Y-T-H. So those were his hits. And like I said, just something totally different, not your current top 40, except for like the, the one kiss, um, just for something totally different. And then um, next one, um, for those who don't know, DJ Flipside who's also um, from Chop Smokers. That's how his, his, that's how they do it in the song if anybody has any Jump Smoker tracks. Um, his hits, um, I'll start with One Kiss. As you see, again, that's another repeat. So um, his first one, One Kiss. Second one, I Like It, Cardi B. So there's there's your first Cardi B one right in there. Second one is um, Finest Hour by Cash Cash. We haven't hit that one yet. So that is a song called Finest Hour by Cash Cash. I think maybe he did a remix of that. I think Jump Smokers just did a new remix of that one. Next one is uh, another Pitbull song. This one is Roof on Fire. For those who have not heard it, it's got an incredible, incredible beat. I love this one. Love, 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 love this one. FYI, this around is- 117 BPM, so a nice little filler where you need it. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So Roof on, Roof on Fire is um, another Pippa one. And then he threw in a Latin song. It's called Not On You. Um, so that is his last one. And that's, I believe, Louis uh, Fonsi. So his are One Kiss, Finest Hour, Cash Cash, I Like It, Cardi B., Roof on Fire, Pitbull, and Not On You, Louis Fonsi. So those are um, flip sides. Then I have uh, a New York DJ that spins all around like Brooklyn and the different um, boroughs in there. Um, and he does a lot of uh, hip hop and stuff like that. So he gave me his his hits. And of course, he gave me his what he thinks is going to be like the, the hip hop. 
the hip hop for him. Um, I like it. Cardi B, God's Plan, Drake, Nice for What, Drake, which we've already hit. Uh, this is America for those that don't know who that is. Um, Google the, the video. Um, and then his other one is Yes, Indeed, Little Baby. Um, we haven't hit that one yet. Yes, Indeed. So I like it. Cardi B, um, both Drake's God's Plan, Nice for What, This is America, and Yes, Indeed, Little Baby. So those are those. Um, those are my friend Marshall Moores. Thank you so much, Marshall. He also, for those that don't know Marshall, he also is like the main DJ um, at DJ Expo um, in the seminar rooms. Hmm. So that is Marshall for those that don't know Marshall. So thank you very much. Um, and for those that don't know my next um, person, this is Superfly. He, I think he just did. Did he just do your show, MJ, for Serato? Was it just this past Wednesday? I'm not sure. He covered Serato. Sorry, I was muted yeah. there. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. Yeah, I know. Um, he just so, I think he just did your show on Wednesday. Yeah. And he's in the chat room on yeah, Facebook but. with us. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So Superfly, um, I reached out to him. Um, incredible DJ, DJ as well. Lots of knowledge and everything. So he um, talked to him, gave me his hits, moved to Miami. So again, we're getting that one for those that don't know. So I think we're, we're seeing some pit bull here in, in, in Enrique. Um, he also said roof on fire. So I think we're, we're seeing that one again. He gave me summertime Jazzy Jeff. So we might, we might be seeing that with some, some people seeing, you know, some remixes of that one. Um, he also gave me Scooby Doo Papa, that one by DJ Cass, K-A-S-S. And then his last one is called Dura, D-U-R-A by Daddy Yankee. So his top five, um, I mean, I won't call this Pitbull because it's featuring Pitbull, but I'll just say Pitbull for you guys. Move to Miami. Roof on Fire, Summertime, Scooby Doo Papa, and Dura. Th those are his. So besides MJ giving me his, those are most of my DJs. I haven't given mine. I know Dan just wants to give a little, little something too. Um, but those are, so you kind of see a crossover of, of so, a couple of like some Drake's and definitely one kiss. Calvin Harris was a definitely crossover for, for a lot of them. Um, John, do you have any input on any of these that people have been, have been saying or anything? Hang on a sec. I'm going to spec up. The sad part about this is, is as you're going through the list, I only recognize like a handful of the songs. Which because one? Okay. <laughs> what, what did you recognize? Well, there's been a few as we've gone through, but there's quite a few of them that, that I probably have heard the kids, but because once I got out of the prom season, yeah, it was basically life got in the way, so yeah. I've I've been in essence out of the musical loop. Yeah, um, I've been really focused on the country music because I hear Wednesday nights going to become a hot country night. So I've really been focusing on country music right now. Yeah. <sighs> well, like I said, See, these now, are going to be John, like I believe that. Hits. But had you said had MJ said it, then I'd wonder what he was smoking. <laughs> mm, so these are going to be you know like top 10 going you know into the next three months so that's what i'm saying that you might not recognize them but trust me in the next three months these are going to be songs that you're going to be you know if we then convene this again in three months you're going to be like okay i i'm done with these songs <laughs> We can have our usual yeah. typical conversation going into Expo. Which ones are we going to hear in the hall 8,000 right. times? So how we always have that conversation, what, what's the song we're always going to hear? So it's like, you might not recognize these songs now because these are the songs that I'm asking these DJs going into summer now, what are going to be your top songs? Not in the last couple months, what have you been playing? That's not what I, that's not what I asked them because that's not what I want to know and that's right. not what I want to give to the DJs that are watching this. What I want to know is give me your summer hits so I can, you know, give songs to everybody watching so they could be like, yeah, okay, thank you. These, these, I didn't know these. Now I know I, some songs that I can play for the summer that these kids are going to, or these adults or, you know, whoever I'm playing with are going to be like, okay, I think I just heard that. Or I think I just, yeah, I, somebody said, this is a song I'm going to start hearing. I'm going to start, you know, it's going to be a hot song. So 
that's why you haven't heard it. So that's a good thing that you don't recognize a lot of these songs because I hope you don't recognize a lot of these songs. I was surprised. I think I was surprised a little bit by the list. Um, I don't know. I, I expected I expected Post Malone somewhere in yeah. there. I expected. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, you mentioned what one or two of them mentioned Cardi B, but even even at that, not really much um, much in the way of that. So it kind of surprised me. Both of those. Um, the Pitbull doesn't surprise me. It, it seems like if it's gonna be summer, there's gonna be hit there somewhere. Um, the rest yeah. of the year, it's like he keeps putting stuff out and no, it does, doesn't seem to catch on quite the same. Um, like you said, the move to Miami, I know he's like the, the featured. What I will say about that one, well, while we're thinking, it was very weird to hear Enrique Iglesias auto-tuned. <laughs> like, like, I'm I didn't used know to, it was you know, him. yeah, I, I'm yeah. used to it. And all of a sudden, like, I'm hearing it. And I was like, yeah, I like did a double take when it, when it came on. I was like, wait a minute, who? And then who? I looked, it was like Enrique. Enrique. It's like, yeah, it's kind of sound like him, but I mean, it was just like, like, there was, there was a mechanical sound to it. I was like, okay. Yeah. No. Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to give you guys my, my top five now that I think are going to be for the summer. And then MJ, MJ can give his, even though I have his, <laughs> he can give his own. He changed his <laughs> answers. No, he you forget, said he this. has to look it back up. <laughs> <laughs> but my top five, um, I, I definitely had one kiss um, on, on mine. Um, I had nice for what, Drake on mine. I had one that nobody said. I had De Niro, J Lo. So I had De Niro on mine. Um, I think it's gonna just. I think. It, I don't know if it's gonna go for the whole summer, but I think it's definitely gonna go for a good two months. I think it's gonna hit really, really hot. Um, I'm playing it right now. I've been playing it for the kids for graduations and field days and all that kind of stuff right now. So I definitely think, and it's got the beat and everything. So I'm saying De Niro. Um, I said, move to Miami. And then my last one, um, I put down the song X, just the letter X, um, Nikki jam. I think that's for me. I think that's going to be the new crossover of me Hente, how me Hente was the crossover that went to the top 40 I think this one might be on uh, the song X by Nikki Jam. I think that might be the new like Mi Gente where it might be like the top 40 might. I don't know. We'll see if it kind of gets there. But those those are mine. So mine are Nice for What, One Kiss, De Niro, Move to Miami and, and X. And again, like we're, like I keep saying to you guys, you might not know all these songs, and that's what this is about. I'm giving you guys um, the songs that are going, you know, that we're saying are the summer hits. I don't want you to know all these songs. If we did, that's not what the show is about. It's not about the songs you've been playing. It's about the songs that hopefully you'll get sick of by the end of the summer, and hopefully I will get Snapchats and Instagram and Facebook and text messages and messages from you guys to say, thank you, Shaney. When's the next, you know, music show that you're doing that you're contacting all your DJs again, that we can do this again, because this helped me out so much. So that's it. Um, MJ, you ready? For what? For your for list. Your, for your list. She did not share yours. Come on. I did not share yours. Right, Stay attention one, here. Let's go, man. Number one on my list is meant to be followed by heaven by Kane Brown. Then number, number. <laughs> number three, I'm like, what is he talking about right now? As soon as he went Kane Brown, I was like, oh, he's I know. so. I was like, us. what? I was just reading down the, the top country hits right now. Um, I don't like my picks that I picked. I in. do. Shut up because I do. <laughs> okay, I don't for one reason because I'm, I'm a person who looks at the charts every week and judge partially judged by that, but you can't always judge that by that. But almost all the songs I picked are already going down in the charts already. So they're already it's, shut down. Okay. That doesn't mean anything. That doesn't mean anything. But it was just kind of odd to me that I, I picked these because I expected them to stay on the charts longer, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Okay, well, I, right, so I, here. Do Come like on. One, I do definitely like for sure two of them. Okay. One that I, it, it went down 10 points, 10 spaces from last time, but I really thought it was going to be a summer hanger was uh, Power Glide. I um, still think that's going to hang on for the hip hop heads. It really has a, a kind of, it, it's not that slow hip hop that you're used to. It's got a little bit of pop to it. Mm -hmm. um, Power Glide is going to stay for the people that are into the whole Migos and everything. Power Glide is going to stay. Yeah. 
Um, the next one, I don't like it, but I, I think it's going to stay just because everybody likes it, is uh, This Is America. It's going to uh, stay. Yeah, cause I, I st- I'm still looking for a mix of it that I like. Mm-hmm. I'm still playing the pretty plain one right now. Um, so um, next one, you can pretty much say God's Plan or any Drake for the rest of the summer. So it really doesn't matter, <laughs> considering that he has two right now that are at number one and number three, I think. Yeah. I just looked at that. Number one and number three. Yeah. So God's Plan is at number three. I was at number three last week. So that one is just, you can't really go wrong. The next one is another one that I don't get that's super popular is the middle. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I, I, it's to me, it's a weird one to play, especially as a DJ. Um, but I, I think it has a summertime feel to it. That's my, my feeling on that. And the last one, I've actually heard DJs rant and rave that this is a novelty song. Please stop playing it. It's a novelty song. But who gives a flying crap if people like it? But Freaky Friday. I think it's yes. a fun song. People like to, you know, be silly with it. That's and, the- they, and they sing along to it. Yeah. They just like it's, it's OK. So what if it's silly? Then that's what people are going out to have fun. So why, why not play it? Because it don't DJs need to step away from that. It's a, it's a novelty song. I think you need to step away, whoever's saying that. Yeah. <laughs> but that's my picks. Like I said, I didn't necessarily pick them as what I liked. I just looked at something and I said, the, I thought that these are going to have staying power all summer. That was my my thought with these. Yeah. Agreed. That's, but then that's again, a, but then again the one the one with uh, 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 um, uh, Move to Miami isn't even in the top 100 yet, but yet it's a crazy hot song. So that's why I say you can't always look at that. But that's my thought. And I'm sticking to it. So I've got I've got one, well for, I've got two. I've got the one that okay. I mentioned earlier that I was going to talk about, but then when you were talking about all the songs, it reminded me of one that I've heard a few times, and I keep, and I, I have no idea who sings the main artist, um, but it's got Demi Lovato as as like the featured artist with it. It's a Latin feel. It's relatively new. Um, somebody please help me out with this. MJ's looking, and I think he knows. Um, I, I've just come across it, and it's got it's got a really cool vibe. I, I could see that one. Uh, coming across as maybe one of those other crossovers because kind of like Despacito kind of like um, Mijente because it's, it's got the Latin part, but then it's also got Demi Lovato who's still doing the hot stuff. She does the Latin part, but then she comes around and sings an English part as well. Have you found it yet, MJ? I think it's on my computer. I, I, I know what oh, I you loaded it recently. I can take 10 seconds and grab. It. He's going to take 10 seconds and grab it. Grab but I'm gonna look. I'm gonna look at my Serato So Shani, right now. Shani, uh, uh, you've got uh, Rachel who uh, gave you a shout out there in the chat room on Facebook. Rachel Lynch is there. Oh yes. Uh, Tell her I'm not on Facebook, but yeah. thank you or whatever. Yes. Oh, maybe this is older than I thought it was. Oh well, um, I think it's Luis Fonzi. Oh yeah. And okay, so off her new yeah. So okay. Echame Demi Lovato, La- Luis Fonzi. Culpa. Yes. Yes. And and for those people who speak Spanish, I apologize. Um, yeah, somebody else came back with it as well while we were trying to do that. So I like I said, I, it's got kind of a, a cool little vibe. I, I could see it definitely taking off in the same respect. I just noticed. Well, I, let me phrase. I just recently started hearing it. So even though that when I did a quick search that it came out in November, um, I'm hearing it showing up on um, uh, globalization on Pitbull and Sirius. So. That's actually what I, w- I will say. The one thing that I, I've kind of been impressed with was the songs that I hearing from the list, I would have had no clue if I hadn't been listening to like that serious station. Hmm. So yeah, um, no, a that's, lot of them I'm I mean, like, Oh, Hey, I know that one. Hopefully, I feel, I feel good for what I, what I like about this is there's like some dance songs. Yeah. It's not all hip hop. So I'm hoping that these songs really will, will catch on. And, you know, we don't have to find the remixes and we don't have to find, you know, I don't have to play all the remixes of these songs that, you know, things like One Kiss and these songs will take off for the summer. So I, that's that's what I'm hoping. And, and I'll give Rachel a shout out. Hi, Rachel. I wear a shout out, even though I'm not watching Facebook, but hi. Um, yeah. So I'm hoping that they'll um, they'll all catch on. So I hope this helped everybody for their, their summer hits. And um, I hope you guys are in your tank tops and Hawaiian shirts and sipping your, your summer, your summer drinks right now. And in your flip flops, if you, if you don't have funky feet and um, (laughs) I hope (laughs) I did, I posted it on my Facebook. Yeah. (laughs) We saw that earlier. 
So I hope this helps everybody for, for their summer, for their, their summer festivities of their parties that they're doing. And, and we'll see. We'll see what happens with uh, the summer charts if um, if all our DJs are correct or we're going to just throw rocks at them when we see them at places. Since, you know, social media, we know where everybody lives. And I said all their names. <laughs> <laughs> Dropping names. Oh, my. Since I name dropped. <laughs> of course. Of course. This is Shaney. The only one who name drops more than Shaney is MJ. Um, <laughs> Watch your toes. I'm dropping names. There you go. <laughs> well, guys, thank you very much for checking out the show tonight. Hopefully, uh, Shaney said you picked up a few songs that maybe you add to your repertoire, or if nothing else, maybe just add for like dancing around the house and having some fun this summer. Um, if it doesn't fit, doesn't fit what you play for your clients, still maybe have some fun with it anyway. Yeah, um, we've got a great yourself. thing happening happening here in just a few moments. We're going to be switching over to the hangout where uh, oh, you can yeah. ask questions. You can talk to us. I know there's a couple questions on my microphones and different things that are happening in the chat room. Um, if you want our opinion on it, jump into the chat and, and other people will be jumping in as well. And we, we'll just have fun and we'll keep talking and, and, and do everything because summer's here and why not, right? And I'll share that other song because I'm not going to do it now. I'm going to wait till then. Just make you tune in. Thank you very much, guys. Thanks, For those guys. who are not able to hang out, we will see you next Monday night. Happy Back summer. Here.